السلام علیکم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس سکس دس از یور ٹیچر مس یوسرا مغل اگین ود یو اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو اگین ان دا ورچل کلاس ود از آرگنائز بائی میٹروپولیٹن اسکول سو مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس دس از اے ویری امپارٹنٹ سیشن ایز وی ہیو گوئنگ ٹو ہیو دا ایویلویشن ٹیسٹ وچ از بینگ بیسڈ آن یور آن لائن اسٹڈیز سو دس از دا بیسکلی اوور یو آف آل دا سلیبس اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ آئی ول گائڈ یو دیٹ وچ ٹائپ آف ٹیسٹ از وی آر ٹیکنگ رائٹ تو starting to our very first chapter that is aladdin in which you will have to do the exercise a of page number 3 and in these in this exercise you will have to uh, add some words which are being left out and they can be found in the passage and you will have to write them in the spaces so it's exercise you can do as a fill in the blanks format exercise right so there is another exercise that is exercise a of page number 5 in which you will have to add have or has to these sentences there are some sentences given in this exercise and you will have to add have and has accordingly next is exercise b of page number 5 you will have to add a and or some to these sentences right the chapter uh, there is another chapter the man who tried to please everybody but he didn't he failed to try to please everybody and he lost his only donkey which he has and which he want to sell and for to sell the donkey he went to the town and in the town there was something happened so there are something happened in the town as we have discussed in the chapter so in this chapter we have done with the exercise a of page number 9 which is as the format of the flinder blanks you will have to write the missing words and there is another exercise that is exercise a of page number 13 in which you will have to write in the colors so students there are some there is another chapter that is asia some facts in which we have discussed the some facts about the asia that asia is the largest continent <coughs> we have discussed the area we have discussed the growth we have discussed the issues the population issues the uh, the food issue we have discussed all these things in your chapter and there are some exercises which are given that is exercise a of page number 15 in these sentences some words have been left out they are all words found in the passage write them in right so this is also the fill in the blanks pattern exercise in which there are some words missing and you will have to fill the uh, sentences complete the sentences exercise b of page number 15 you will have to use your dictionary to find the meanings of the words which are given in your book exercise a of page number 17 exercise b of page number 17 and exercise c of page number 17 all three exercises followed the same pattern you will have to fill in the blank spaces right there is an exercise d on page number 17 in which you will have to write a and or the specifically in the empty sentences what are the words a and the call they call articles and i already told you the uses of articles when you specify want to specify something you will add article the and when it is vowel and singular noun you will have to add an and when it is consonant and singular noun you will have to use a in it so there is another exercise exercise of useful words and phrases on page number 18 you will have to finish the sentences by adding phrases like the ones above there are some phrases given above this exercise you will have to take the help from those sentences right moving towards our next chapter that is the treasure island so this is the story and we have discussed it in a very detailed way this is the story of a treasure island and the story of a pirates and sea robbers so we have done the exercise a of page number 21 you will have to complete the sentences there is another exercise that is the written exercise page number 23 complete these sentences by adding have has is and are here another exercise here is punctuation practice and rewrite these sentences as in the examples right so there is a apostrophe sentence you will have to write then another chapter around the world in 80 days the bat we have discussed this chapter in the september 
week one exercise a we have done the exercise a of page number 26 complete these sentences using words taken from the passage and in exercise b page number 26 you will have to write true or untrue after each one right then there is a poem which we have discussed in the session that is the poem the very first poem none other than mother this poem is about mothers that how the mothers are greatest how they are too much caring why god resembles her love to the mother the all things we have discussed in the poem already so on the next page in your book there is our exercise given you will have to do it accordingly so you'll have to answer the question that why does the poet think that the mother is a sign of god's love and why do you think mother's love is so special see how would you like to thank your mother for such a love d you will have to give the rhyming word for each of the following and what are the rhyming words the words which have the same sound and again there are some difficult words given over there and there are the meanings as well in your book so now let's moving towards your grammar so in grammar we have discussed tenses that what are tenses the tenses are the time and three time present past and future and there are four kinds of all three three types of tenses what were the four kinds simple continuous perfect and perfect continuous so my dear students we have discussed simple present tense what is simple present tense it tells you about your daily routine or you can say that the work which you do repeatedly or your repeated action your habitual activities is included in this tense so let's moving towards the definition of the tense that it is used to a state and action which occurs on regular basis in present time this action these actions include habitual activities or your repeated actions so there is a picture in which the all the habitual activities and the repeated actions mention so let's moving towards the structure of the tense the structure is subject plus verb first form plus object and subject plus verb first form plus ses plus object so my dear students let's keep it in your mind that while using third person singular you will have to add s and es with the verbs right so there are some examples giving as well i go to school daily he plays cricket and sara reads a book so my dear students while making negative and interrogative sentences in present simple tense we use helping verbs do and does so with the third person we are using does and while we are using does there is no need to add s and es with the verbs right moving towards the next tense that is the past simple tense which describes an action that happened or completed in past or you can say that which is the action which is just completed so the structure of the tense is subject plus second form of verb plus object and the examples are given over there ali went to the market and i watched movie so my dear students while making negative and interrogative of past simple tense we are using did and while we use did in a sentence there is no need to add the second form of the verb right let's moving towards the tense that is future simple tense which is used to refer an action which take place after the time of speaking so the structure is subject plus will plus verb first form plus object and examples are given over there I will write a letter they will go to watch movie so this is a very simple tense in which you will have to use the first form of verb along with will right so my dear students moving towards another tense that what are we doing right now that we are studying English so whatever we are doing right now these things comes in the present continuous tense so as if you want to make the definition from the name of the tense how can you make that the present continuous tense the work which is continue in the present time is known as the present continuous tense 
right? Continuous drive from the continue, present, the work which we are, the work which is going on and the, the time which is going on and the tense is the time, right? So the work which is continued in the present time is known as the present continuous tense. So there are three helping verbs that is is, am and are. With I we can use am, with he, she, it we can use is and with are, with we, you, they we can use are, right? So there is an important topic that is the letter writing in which we have discussed the two types of letter. Number one is the formal letter and number two is the informal letters. So what are the formal letters and what are the informal letters? Formal letters are those letters which are being written to the officials, to the concerned authorities, right? These are the business letters or the official letters. The letters which you have written your, to your principal or to your teacher are also included in the formal letters because they are followed by a specific pattern, right? So what are informal letters? Informal letters are the personal letters and can be written to your parents, your friends, your relatives. So there is no need to follow a certain pattern in it. You can write it accordingly, whatever you want to write, right? But in formal letters, you are directly coming towards your point. There is no need to ask how are you and how do you do, what do you want, etc. This type of sentence is not included in the formal letters. Right, my dear students? So now let's start the guideline for online studies evaluation test. So students, there is an there, we are going to take a test from you people, which is of 90 minutes and having 25 marks, in which you will have to solve the question, which is the objective based somehow and some comprehension based question in it as well. The paper is totally unseen. You will have to just understand the concept of the exercises, then you can solve it very quickly. This is not a very typical and the tricky paper. The paper is very simple and I will give you that. You will have to just understand the concept of the exercises so you can do it easily. All the phrases, idioms, all the vocabulary meanings, all the phrasal verb meanings are also included in the chapter. The translation of the tenses obviously is given in the paper and the letter writing you will have to write the letter is also <clears throat> included in the paper, right? The paper is of based on seven questions in which you will have to attempt only five questions. So my dear students, I wish you a best of luck for your evaluation test. See you in the next session. Till then, Allah Hafiz.